everybody happy hump day wednesday welcome back to the channel i have a new pattern release for you i am very excited to share because i was a pattern tester so i am going to go ahead and jump right into it i want to welcome everyone that is new to the channel and thank you so much for those who continue to tune in from week to week i upload every sunday and wednesday at 10 a.m central standard time so this is a new pattern release by itch to stitch patterns i have my notes plus i do have a clip a short clip showing you how to burrito the arm side for the facing so i'm gonna jump right into it all right everybody i think you are going to love this because of a couple of features in this plus there is a sewing technique that i think is new or new ish if you haven't tried it before and so i did record a part of it which is the um clean arm side facing um pieces that you do put into the pattern so i will have a clip for that so continue to stay tuned but this is the new itch to stitch santorini tank top so beautiful i want to make sure that i you know i have my notes and everything and i want to make sure i cover all the features the first thing i want to make sure that i share with you is that this pattern is 20 percent off until june 11th <laughs> i have to make sure june 11th so you get <clears throat> excuse me 20 percent off of this pattern until june 11th i will leave a link in the description box down below it is an affiliate link and so just know that you don't have to use it but it does help the channel over here so i greatly appreciate it if you do decide to shop the link down in the description box but there are a, a couple really nice features in this uh pattern first of all you all know it has cup sizes so it goes up to a double d cup i'll go over the sizing that i made and everything but you all know i usually struggle with i won't say struggle so far as making but struggle with I would say wearing anything that comes up here because I am fuller bust, right? And depending on what it is that I make, <clears throat> And I hadn't been all greatly successful in the past with making anything that was high around my neck. I felt like the things in the past that if I made something that went up high around my neck, it just made my breast just look bigger and everything like that. Could be pattern, could be fabric, could be a combination of both. And so this has a round neckline. And you'll see, yes, I color blocked it, but we're going to get into all of that. Um, it has front and back princess seams, which I think you will like. And the princess seams start from the neckline. So for those who, many of you watch my narrow shoulder adjustment video. And if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link. It'll pop up here in the iCards. And if, if I remember, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box. How to, if you have narrow shoulders like me, how to do a narrow shoulder um, adjustment. Now this has princess seams going in the front and the back from the shoulder. So you can play with that play consider playing with that if you decide to do a muslin and i did i'm gonna share all of that with you my muslin and everything for this um because i really wanted to get the neckline um good and make sure that all the princess seams and everything was sitting right so i did do um and plus this is woven so i did do a muslin i will share that with you um the neckline and arm holes are finished with an all-in-one facing and you complete it using the burrito method and so again like i said i will show you a clip of that um it has this really cute it's on this side really cute button placket on the side as you can tell i did a contrasting button placket but again i'm gonna bring that in with you um and this is designed for non-stretch woven fabric so let's get into sizing so when i did and i'm gonna pop up a clip here i'll just pop up clips as i'm talking so when i did the uh, muslin i did it in muslin fabric so it made sure it was a nice stretch woven fabric but it's pretty much the same weight as the chambray here the muslin fabric that i use but at any rate as you can see here in the pictures that i'm going to pop up when i did my muslin the main concern I had was more so around my neckline because I know I'm more narrow around the shoulders 
I like that this is sleeveless. And so <clears throat> I wanted to make sure up in here, you all know I've been talking about that a little bit as of late, like up in here, I really do have to pay more attention to in garments that I'm making. Um, and yeah, truth be told, need to get back into making more muslins. But anyway, um, and so as you can see here, um, the front top fits beautifully up in here fits beautifully the front fits beautifully but if you can tell by from the back of the pictures that i pop up here you can tell it was tight and doing some bunching and so my muslin only went out to it, i started at a 14 at the shoulder because this was absolutely perfect at a 14 and then i started grading out around the arm side um, there are notches around the arm size. So I make sure usually when I start grading out to a larger size around the arm side, I do it around the bust area. Um, and so <clears throat> then I went out to a 20 all the way down to the hip. Well, for me, as you can tell from looking at the back of the pictures, it was too tight down around my hip and you kind of saw a lot of fabric in the, um, in the, middle lower part of my back it you, you can tell it just needs to relax in the back it needed to calm down we don't we don't have to be so tense <laughs> so what i did was um and uh with kenneth's suggestion as well i went ahead and kept the front exactly how it was because the front was fine it was the back that I needed to uh, play with. And um, so what I did was I kept the 14 at the top um, because there are two size packets. Um, her patterns go up to a, um, it starts from a zero zero and go up to a size uh, 40. So very size inclusive pattern. The bust starts at an A cup of 30 and one eighth and goes all the way up to a um, double D cup up to a 63 very size inclusive very 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 size inclusive and the highest in the hip is 62 and the highest in the waist is 54 54 and a quarter yeah inches so you do have room to play with this and because of the princess seams in the front and back you you get some some extra um playing with to get your fit right and so what i did when i finished my final here i kept it at a 14 at the top right this was only the back pattern pieces i changed i kept the um which means the facing pieces i also had to um extend out so what i did was i kept it at a 14 at the top but i went all the way out to a 24 around the hip and so as you can tell that looks um a whole lot better on me the back does fit better i kind of regret i didn't look at my pictures closely um for the back because the way i was standing it looks like it's twisted or something at the top so forgive that but it fits it fit that fit uh change worked beautifully so now it it relaxes as well and yes for me that is a huge <laughs> difference and i'm just i'm learning to um make sure i am taking um and with my last vogue piece i need to take my measurements more frequently because i do measure across my upper bust and i'm paying attention more to this area because this is what can really get out of control for me or you know not look as uh fitted um the way i would like it to so for me yes definitely and so for me since i went i started at a 14 <laughs> at the top i'm a full bust of 45 right my full bust is a 45 um but because my upper bust is more of a 39 i still kept um at a 14 at the top because the 14 at very up at the top so 45 and one eight is a double d so i i just went with that because i figured with the shoulder seams and everything it will work and it did it did and let me just sidebar because i have sewn with itch to stitch patterns frequently i know what usually works for me and her her sizing so also keep that in mind if you have not sewn itch to stitch patterns or this might be your first one highly suggest doing a muslin to get a, a good fit um, right 
and then my waist is my waist is 39 right now and so i went with size um like i said i graded all the way out to a 24 uh to for here all the way down to the hip and so but i went like i said i started going out to a 24 around this bust area right and so um which is above my which is around my waist area and um my that put me at a 43 and one fourth for the waist on here and then the hip um to 51 and so and my hip is 52 but because you do have the ease remember always turn the pattern over and look at the ease um the finished garment measurements and you'll see where you fall so i fell in a good spot by doing those um adjustments to get this final look and so very I, I i really do love this top and what i will say so far as sewing time it took me about um after i did the muslin took my time because i did snap you all know i'm having issues with my my machine to make buttons but we we working on that behind the scenes um i decided to do snaps so the extra time putting the top together itself does not take long after you put everything together, you're looking at about two, two and a half hours sewing time from start to finish. I'm calculating in, you're going to take a break, bathroom break, whatever, but two to two and a half hours to do this, whether you do buttons or um, snaps, right? Um, and then what else did I want to mention? So that's basically it. Let me jump into, so far as the instructions, let me just say, um the only piece of instruction that for me that i had to read a couple times digest it um and thank goodness i did the muslin because by the time you know I, I got around to the final you know it was a, it was more intuitive and i can just kind of breeze through it it is the arm armhole facing when you do the facings um because you are doing the burrito method um <clears throat> so that is the video clip i'll have in here but let me just first show you well actually i'll i'll continue i'll just keep going so the fabric let me come up closer so you can see the fabric is this solid is a chambray um absolutely love the drape of that and if you can tell this is the fabric that the linen that myra lorraine my friend gifted me and this is all i had left of that fabric actually i have maybe not even i mean i have like a, a small scrap left but i am going to use even that scrap for something um but um because it's really beautiful fabric so this is the linen um that i used and then see how I did the um, the placket in a in the chambray. I wanted that contrast, so I'm so happy with how that turned out. And with my snaps, um, I use these are utility snaps from Cam Snaps, and I use my pressing tools for that. Um, but that's what I use for my closure. I absolutely love it. And you do have to unsnap this to get in and out of the top because, of course. I tried, I was like, oh, do you really need to unsnap this to get in and out? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you do. So, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that is um, the inside. Let me turn it inside out. This is the front and then this is the back. So, like I said, I expanded that back. I'm going to turn it inside out and then I will um, pop up the clip showing you the burrito method for this arm facing it. Um, piece that's in here so that's the only part that you might be confused on while you're even though the instructions i think are very well written you have to you know take a breath and just read through it a couple times at least for me and so here's the um i'm gonna come up a little bit here's the um facing piece see how that's finished on both sides and so what I'm going to do is, and then I just surge. Typically, you all know, I, um, you won't see any surging here. I usually have my facing piece turned in so you don't see that. Um, but I wanted to show you for demonstration purposes when I show um, this next clip. So it wouldn't be 
um, any confusion there, but everything is surged on the inside. But like I said, for the arm side, um, I am going to pop up a clip here, how this is done in the burrito method. And hopefully it makes sense for you. So what I've done is laid it out right side up, showing you the arm side that was already completed. So what I am going to do is kind of straighten this out and just begin to roll the side that is completed over to the side that is not completed. And you'll see the facing pieces kind of sticking out um, up there at the top. So you just want to continue to roll and you'll notice once I kind of flip this up, the piece that comes, it flips over. And then you see the right side of the fabric. I'm kind of straightening it out. And I will begin to put these two pieces together by clipping them together, the facing piece, as well as the fashion fabric or the outside of the top and so as you can see here i'm just slowly clipping all the way around and again this can be a little tricky but hopefully you'll get the gist of what i am doing here and i'm just going to keep clipping on both sides until the entire facing piece is clipped to the fashion fabric or the outside of the top. And then, as you can see here, it's all clipped together. And while everything is in there, you wanna go over to your machine and stitch all the way around. Now here is everything stitched together now this the easy part is starting to pull the bodice through the opening and it comes out relatively easy as you can tell and then once everything is out you can see here you do under stitch but as you can see here everything is clean finished all the way around Okay, hopefully that makes sense and I didn't confuse you even more, but it's a really nice feature and how to finish off the arm side just makes it really nice and clean. I think this top is so, so cute. I have it on with my Love Notions Glissando. Um, I was waiting until, remember I kept saying, I'm gonna take pictures of the Glissando the, uh, because I couldn't wear it at the time because I was uh, bloated, but um, and I told you it fit, it fits. So I have it on <laughs> with this top and I was waiting until, um, uh, this here released because I knew I was going to wear this with the skirt. Um, that was always the plan. So I was like, ah, I'll just wait until when, when my top is done and then, um, oh wait, I put this on backwards and then I can, um, show you guys. So yes, the glissando is done. And if you missed my review of the glissando, I will leave a link to it up here in the I card, but yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. You all have to let me know what you think um, and everything. And do you like my little contrasting um, fabric pieces? Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. So super cute. And yeah, I just love the way it wears and it's very comfortable. And because it is hot here in Texas, definitely up my speed. My, I will leave a link to my um, code down below my affiliate link and you can use that to shop if you so choose. Um, and yeah, that is it. Stay tuned for Sunday. I'm so excited. Um, it is my summer picks that I will be sewing up this summer. And so I will be sharing that with you on Sunday. So I'm very excited about that. I have all of my um, patterns all of my fabric everything is ready she is ready for these summer pieces um and so yeah um and then also what i am wearing is the helen's uh it's the tank is free this is a free pattern and i extended it into a dress a tank dress which makes it um, more flowy it 
um, goes out um, and it's flowy and I showed how I did that in my video so I'll link to that up in the iCards uh, what I am wearing and I'll link it down in the description box below and it is perfect on this hot summer day um, to lounge around the house in all right everybody thank you so much for tuning in today I greatly appreciate it let me know what you think of the new release and yeah stay tuned for Sunday I will see you then bye